Hello, Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, here to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the cold footings of my deck. Just wanted to say thank you to all my supporters, old and new. I wouldn't be where I am without you. You are my Christmas gift this year. So thank you for everything. And I just wanted to say a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your December 25th through December 31st weekly love reading. I have uh, pre-shuffled this deck and since those cards fell out, I'm going to go with them. I will uh, focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. And I'm going to keep shuffling because I feel like that's about as many as we had. Um, anyway, this may not resonate with you. It may, it may not because it's not a private reading, okay? It's for a general audience, a large audience. Just take what does and leave the rest. I will focus the camera in once I have the cards laid out. I didn't even look at this one. The basis of your reading is the Four of Cups. There's lack of content. There's lack of love. There's lack. Somebody is not applying love to the relationship. It is connected to the Two of Cups reversed. There could be a break in a relationship. You know, break up. There is lack of love in regards to a relationship. There's some kind of dishonesty, perhaps. You know, somebody's moving out of this situation. This is the Knight of Swords. Um, it just feels like, you know... Something has happened that has shaken shake, shaken things up. You know, something has already happened, I believe, you know, that has cracked the foundation. And I think because of that, you know, the, it's something is ending. You know, you're, you're deciding that you don't want to be in this situation anymore. This Ten of Swords, it's the end. It's the end of a difficult situation. You know, it's like... You've tried to manifest change. You've tried to do everything you can, but it's not happening, okay? There's no progress being made. Things aren't moving forward. This is the Eight of Wands reverse. Things aren't moving. It's like you're at a stalemate. You know, somebody could be involved in a third-party situation. They may feel like, you know... I don't know what to do. I just feel like, and there could be more than one person if it's not a third party situation. I mean, there is a third party situation, whether it's a relationship or people in your life. It doesn't, when I say third party situation in my readings, it doesn't mean that there's another lover. It can mean that there's two other people that are involved in your situation, okay? So that are, in this case, it's reversed. There's, this, there could be a trio of people that are bringing down this relationship or this union. You know, that, that could certainly be the case. It could be a third-party love situation, but that's just a, a could be, okay? There is um, a need to bring security back to your life. It's like things are really insecure right now. Your wishes are not being fulfilled. That's all there is to it, you know? It's, it's just... Like, you know, you want happily ever after. You're looking for this alignment. You're looking for this this commitment uh, relationship that is going to be uh, giving. It's going to be giving. It's going to be uh, secure, stable, uh, in alignment. And right now, it's not there. It's like there's no relationship with alignment at this time. Things are misaligned. I mean, we have these two tens right here. I mean, they're right across from each other. So there's completions here. And uh, this is a completion of a relationship, of a phase in a relationship. It's the completion. It's the end, okay? 
It's the end, and it takes strength. It takes, this is a Leo, by the way. It takes strength, uh, confidence, courage, willpower, discipline, and the ability to let go, okay? When the strength card comes up, it means that you have to open up and face your fears, master your emotions, use the force within you, and do whatever you need to do and hold your head up high while you're doing it, okay? Because right now, I think many of you are involved in a relationship that is going nowhere, okay? It's going nowhere. There's no progress being made, none. And the thing is, is it looks like somebody is not willing to put in effort. This is not willing. And look at these are right across from each other. Somebody is not willing to make changes. Somebody is lacking passion. Somebody is uh, not opening up. They're not using their resources. Okay? That's what this card says. All right? And because of that, there's a completion here. There's a completion, an ending of something that was very difficult. It's like I feel de I'm defeated in this sense. Okay? I'm at a loss here. Okay, there's somebody is at a is at a loss, and I think they're they're ready to, you know, make a decision, make a choice. You know, I'm not looking for just one thing. Okay, I'm looking for love here, and this is you. I think some that you are looking for love more than you are materialistic gains, and the fact of the matter is, you're not getting it. You're not getting the love you desire. That's the basis of your reading, okay? And it feels like, you know, you're having these conflicting thoughts over this situation because I think you've put a lot into it. There's insecurity here and you're looking to bring it back. You know, I need something more secure at this time. You know, this was false. It didn't work out. It was a false foundation, but it's already cracked now. It's already cracked, okay? And so, you know, I feel like it's the end of power struggles, okay? Because these are these are fives, by the way, and this is a, this is the ten of swords. It's the end of conflicts. It's the end of feeling insecurity. You know, it's the end. I'm at, I've reached the end, the end of the rope. Okay, this is not fulfilling my wishes. Wish fulfillment is reversed. Okay. I'm no longer going to be a victim in this situation because this is victim mentality upright, but it's reverse. It's where you've decided, you know, what? I understand that this was false because this is the false foundation. It's where you feel like, you know, I understand that this wasn't true and now I have to take action and remove myself from this situation. Either maybe it's even mentally, you know, but there is a break in a union because this is the two of cups. It's reversed. It's right next to this four of cups. It's like... So, a partner is not returning the favor or the love or whatever it is. A partner is not returning the um, connection, per se. And they may have somebody else. That could be the case. Or you could have somebody else. I mean, there could be a third-party situation here. I want to tell you who we're dealing with. We have Leo. We have Aries. Um, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I see so far. Yeah, somebody is waiting to free them. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's probably you. You know, you got your wits at, and I told you, you're at the end of your rope. You are at the end of your rope regarding a situation. It's like, you know what, I can't take this anymore. I'm looking for more, okay? I'm looking for more. You may be feeling like, you know, I gave you it, I gave you it all. I gave you it all. And, you know, you're just not giving. It's like you're not giving to the relationship, all right? I'm at my wit's end. I can't, I'm not sure how much longer I can take. I'm about ready to say the end. I'm at the end. I'm about ready to close this door, okay? I'm about ready to move on. You are. You're really close to moving on because somebody's not putting in effort. Somebody's not putting in effort into you. This is the Two of Cups. It's reversed. And this is effort. <coughs> and this is you. 
You know, somebody is, is feeling like they're a victim of some sort. I don't think it's you. I think it's the other person, okay, that isn't opening up. This person is not um, communicating, okay? They're not speaking up. They're not, they have a lot of fear inside of them. They're not fulfilling your wishes um, in regards to this happily ever after. And you're staying put at this time. You're not taking action. You're staying there, but you're not happy. Okay? This is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But the thing is, is there's a lot of doubts here. This is the doubt card. There's a lot of doubts here. Somebody isn't putting in effort. There's no progress being made. It's This is the Ten of Swords. It's like... You know, I'm at the, I'm at the point where I, I, I'm at a loss. We're in like crisis mode at this point. <clears throat> and this is a blockage, okay? And this is like, this is a marriage upright. It's reversed. It could certainly be the end of a relationship, okay? With the cards that I see. Okay, and this may not resonate with you because it's not for every person. And if it doesn't, just, just move on, okay? But I see that somebody is not listening to their inner guide. Somebody is scared to make a move. And it could be financial. Maybe they, they're, they're, somebody is scared to make a move because they don't have the money to make a move. Or they don't have the financial means to make a move. Or... Uh, they're scared. They're scared. There's some fear here. There is definitely some fear. But somebody's not going out on their own. Another five. Now we have three fives. Oh boy. So there's definitely been some power struggles between you and another person. It looks like we have a you and a fire sign. Okay. There's been some power struggles and it feels a lot of conflicts. Okay. Challenges. Uh, and it's it's like somebody has reached the end of the road. It's like, you know what, I have to follow my own path. Right now, it looks like somebody's just biding their time, waiting for the right moment. Five, 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 okay? There's instability. Instability, and it's time to let go of the old. When you see three fives, it's time to let go of the old. If you're thinking about or with somebody that you know, that's making you feel like you can't move on or that you are, you're having doubts about this person. The doubts are your inner guide. Doubts are your inner guide talking to you. And I see that you have to be willing to let go. I mean, with this card and this card and this card, I mean, you have to be willing to let go. But the fact of the matter is somebody's just biding their time and it's kind of like a safety net. I'm, I'm, I, this is safe for me at this point. This is a safety net. While I work on myself and bring myself up, it's like I'll stay right here where I'm at in this illusion while I build myself up to the spot where I need to be. And it feels exactly like that is what is happening. Okay. But many of you are thinking about somebody from your past. Okay, the Six of Cups. I mean, you're thinking about somebody from your past. Perhaps you want to reunite with them or they want to reunite with you. But somebody from your past is pretty prominent here at the end of this month. Okay, you may be just dreaming about them. I don't know. And, and it just, I'm going to get start shuffling the other deck. It, it looks like personal freedom is needed. And the time is now, but you're not taking action right now. You're not freeing yourself from this this thought or this place that you're at because right now you're biding your time uh, working on yourself building yourself up making your plans you know it's like a safety net a safety zone I'm in the safety zone right now oh boy look at those love yourself first first love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive Respect yourself. Love yourself. Do what's right for you. And I don't think you are right now because I think you're working on healing yourself uh, in many, many ways. And this is a safety net to stay, stay stuck in this situation mentally or physically or whatever while you build yourself up to the level where you can free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. 
It is connected to you. You're making progress in, in doing this and freeing yourself. But right now, I don't think you have the, quite the means to do it. You know, if you're, if you're single and you're stuck on somebody in the past, you're stuck on somebody, that's your safety net as well. I do see a safety net here. Okay, you're stuck on somebody because, you know, that's a good way of protecting yourself from being hurt in the future. And that's a way, that's your subconscious telling you that you're not ready for the next one. So they keep you stuck with, or they don't keep you stuck, you keep yourself stuck. That's your own uh, conscious working with your subconscious to protect yourself because, you know, that's what you do. That's what people do. So, I have to show you this last card because I think it's a factor for many, many, many of you. And I'm sure you can ap apply it to your own situation. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, you apply that to your situation. Because for many of you watching this, this is absolutely the truth. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Talk to you later.